Amen. Father, Lord, we come to you today. We will never hide. We will never run away. We know you are a good, good father. As we are about to share your word tonight, let your hand of favor and of peace come upon us. Strengthen and guide us. And let your name be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Please take a seat. Holy Spirit, take over. In Jesus' mighty name. I welcome you today to the first day of the encounter service. Encounter service is the uh, first three days of a uh, first three Wednesday, Thursday, or on Friday of every month. Encounter service. Amen. The prophetic focus for the month of October 2022 is, I am enjoying the wonder of God through praise. So somebody repeat it after me. I am enjoying the wonders of God through praise. God is a God of wonder. He does wonder without number. God never runs out of wonder. But we live in a world when people run out of, out of praise. Praise is the fuel for wonder because praise invites God. Anywhere there is God, there is wonder. I decree tonight, this month, that the hand of God will come upon you and you will begin to appreciate God and the result of that will lead you experiencing God's wonder in the mighty name of Jesus. Every Wednesday this month will be, be walking us through what I've titled Unveiling the Wonders of Praise. Unveiling the Wonders of Praise. It is no more news that God is in praise. It is no more a news that God is in praise. It is no more debatable. It is obvious, Psalm 22 verse 3, that God lives in praise. So if God lives in praise and the presence of God is what trigger our experience, then God said, you can give God, you can give direction how you want God to act on your behalf. Because when God created everything in Genesis chapter 1, God did not create praise. I came for a part of the world, everybody says is that don't blow your own trumpet. God cannot praise himself. So God is looking for worshiper. God is looking for people who can praise him, appreciate what he has done. And if God finds you favor, or you find favor in the presence of God to be baptized with the spirit of, of praise, then you will see the hand of God. That means if you can give to God what he cannot give for himself, God will give to you what you cannot achieve yourself. It's so simple. The, we live in the world of trade by butter. I've said it before. One day I was studying and the Lord told me, he said, uh, everybody has a price. He said, including me. He said, whoa. I summon courage to be able to preach this message. The message that I was talking about. He said, including me, I said, God said, what is your price? God said, praise. Praise and race are almost the same thing. The difference between the two spellings is just P. If you can maximize the praise of God, you will be raised. So the raising of men is directly proportionate to the praising of God. If God can be praised, men will be raised. I will say that again. If God can be praised, men will be raised. If God can be praised, men will be raised. So David understood this logic, the secret, kingdom secret, that he leveraged on it, and from the last born, he was anointed. That's not enough. He was caught, he killed Goliath, and they started anointing. David had to be anointed three times for him to be a king of Israel. First in his father's house, second in Judah, third Israel, the entire Israel. He understood this. 
He knew it. So praising God is not once and for all. It is once and again. Sorry. It is once and again. Continuum. You don't stop. When you're in your car, Lord, I give you all the glory. Thank you. You are the one that brought my child. Giving God thanks is not the same thing as praising God. Praising God provoke God. Giving God thanks, appreciating. Somebody shout hallelujah. So Psalm 146 verse 1, Psalm 146, Psalm 146 verse 1, Psalm 147 verse 1, Psalm 148 verse 1, Psalm 149 verse 9, verse 1, and Psalm 50 verse 1. The first phrase of all this chapters of Psalm saying the same thing. Most David was so strategic, so intentional, purposeful about praising God. Do you know what those uh, what those statements said? He said, "Praise the Lord, praise the Lord." Go and check it. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. How could somebody wrote one, two, three, four, five, seven chapter, and the same thing started it? Some people might say it's lack of inspiration. No, it's not lack of inspiration. It's understanding spiritual matter. One of the secrets, you remember Proverbs 25 verse 2, Deuteronomy 29 verse 29. One of the secrets of God is ability to have capacity to praise God. That is why devil will launch an attack on you. You will see no reason to appreciate God. <laughs> First Corinthians chapter 10 verse 10 and Numbers chapter, uh, chapter 11 verse 1. When you murmur, you, you, you trigger God. When you praise, you trigger God. But one making to kindle kindles his, his, his anger, and the other one makes it to what to celebrate him. Somebody shout hallelujah. Psalm 146, verse 1, praise the Lord. Psalm 147, verse 1, praise the Lord. Psalm 148, verse 1, praise the Lord. Psalm 149, verse 1, praise the Lord. Psalm 150, verse 1, praise ye the Lord. And the last phrase in 150 is that let everything that has bread. Why? The question is why? Genesis chapter 2 verse 7. Genesis chapter 2 verse 7. This is what the Lord said. According to the documentation of Moses. As dictated to him by God. He said, then the Lord God formed the man. You were formed. Your marriage. Your finances. Your job. Your children. Everything that matters to you. The Lord formed you. Anytime new things start in your life. The Lord has formed you something good. And look at what happened. He made him out of the dust of the ground. And God breathed. So the breath of God is what brings life to whatever you call yours. Somebody shout hallelujah. You can be married and not be happy. You can have children and not be happy. You can, have, you can make money and not be happy. Listen. <laughs> Happiness is hidden in your connection to God through praise, happiness is hidden in your connection to God through praise. You can have everything in life and not be happy because this word is not yours, it's a past a passage. So, if you turn your passage to a place of comfort, then frustration knocks your door. If you turn your passage to a place of comfort, frustration what knocks your door. If you turn your passage to a place of comfort, Frustration will knock your door. If you turn your passage to a place of comfort, frustration, frustration will knock your door. Why people get mad? Because we think uh, we have, have arrived. No. No matter the number of years that you live in this world, it's a passage. It's a passage. Somebody shout hallelujah. So David knew. He said, hey, I will give God praise. I will give God. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. It won't stop. So, when God created man from the doors and God breathed his breath into that man, the Bible says, and the man became a living being. So whatever you call yours is nothing without the breath of God. Your marriage is nothing without the breath of God. The money you make is nothing without the breath of God. The connection you have is nothing without the breath of God. What brings life? What brings happiness? What sustain your relevance in place in time is the breath of God. David said, if you can still have that breath of God, praise God. Praise reminds God of God's product. Praise reminds God of God's product. 
you are God's product if you can still have that, that, that drop of God inside of you. Give God praise. Lord, you have made me for a time like this. Frustration will never have access to my life. You have done it before when I was super down. You brought me up and you sustained me. You turned out my enemy to lick the doors. And God said, really? You remember that? Okay, let me help you. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. So when Moses got into a place of confusion, he ran to God. God told him what to do. And the Red Sea was parted. I'm talking about Exodus chapter 14, verse 21 to 22. But people don't really understand how the Red Sea parted. Hey, staff was stretched, but the Red people were still afraid. Moses stretched his staff to the Red Sea, but people were still afraid. Why? That's the saying in Yuba, where I came from, Southwest Nigeria. You see, you think you are a man. Right? If you get to a place of fear, you'll be afraid. <laughs> when you are faced with the difficulty of life, you will know that you are not a man. There is nothing called a man. It is God in you that makes you a man. Somebody shout hallelujah. So, facing with Red Sea, staff is strength, faith is there, but when praise is not there, nothing happens. I will say it again. You face with the Red Sea of life, you strike the staff, with authority. Hmm? Faith, you don't know what God commanded you. Okay, connection. But until place is there, nothing is there. So I can picture a time in Red Sea when everything was done, but the Red Sea was still stubborn. But somebody take a lead. Somebody took a lead. I'm talking about Miriam, the other sister of Moses. What happened? What did she do? She, she took tambourine and called the ladies. As they were singing, the Red Sea parted. Somebody shout hallelujah. I decree today, every of your Red Sea will part in the mighty name of Jesus. Stand up on your feet. Let's, let's pray a prayer. Lord, baptize me with the spirit of praise. Lord, baptize me with the spirit of praise. Let me praise you with all that is in me. Lord, let me praise you even when I don't know what to do. Let me praise you even when I know what to do. God, God is ready if you can take step to do the necessary. God is ready. God is ready. God is ready. Let everything that has breath, praise God. Lord, I receive breath over my exam. Lord, I receive breath. Give me capacity to praise you and to see you in your situation. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Take a seat. So, <clears throat> Exodus chapter 14, verse 21 to 22. That's what people read. They forgot Exodus chapter 15, the same verses. 20, sorry, 20 to 21. Hey, Miriam the prophet, the sister of Aaron, took the tambourine in her hand, and all the women went out after her with the tambourine and with the dance. And Miriam answered them, Sing ye to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. Nothing can stand God. So your problem cannot stand you. In the mighty name of Jesus. What do I mean? <clears throat> Psalm 114, from verse 1 to 8. When Israel went out of Egypt, and the house of Jacob from the people of the strange land, Joshua was their sanctuary, and Israel is dominion. The sea saw it and fled. You see, when God is coming, nothing can stand God. So when you are in the entourage, praising God, you are part of the Psalm 24. Lift up your head, all you get and lifted up your everlasting God. Let, because the king of kings is coming, the king of head cannot stay. I love that. Because the king of kings is coming, the king of this earth cannot what? Cannot stay. The king of this earth, the people that want to take your promotion. The king of Israel, these people that want to take your peace. The king of Israel, people that is fighting your joy. When God is for you, true praise, nothing can be against you. He said, the mountains keep like now. Jordan was driven back because God is coming. Verse 7, tremble on head at the presence of God. So God's presence makes the difference. 
God's presence make the difference. God's presence make the difference. Lord, this month, let your presence be with me. I will not lose the battle. Why? I invite you. I give you praise. You are the one that makes me to become a living being. No devil will take my life. You have done it before. You will do it again. You give me a house. You give me family. You give me you everything. You have to remind God. It is to elogize his soul. King Sonny Adi from where I came from. Ebenezer Obey from, you know, they make their money by praising people. How much more if you praise God? Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 17. The Lord your God in the, in the midst of the is mighty and he will save. Somebody shout hallelujah. Praise not these three things. Praise invite God. God's princess give peace. And in the peace of God, you will enjoy life. In the peace of God, enjoyment of life dwells. I will say it again. Praise invites God. God's presence, when it's invited, what happened? He's the one that conveys peace. He gives you peace. And inside the peace of God, dwells what? Enjoyment of life. Let me give us three things you need to know about praise. Number one, praise provokes divine intervention. It is no more new. You read it, 2 Chronicles 20, verse 22 to 24. When the three kings came against <laughs> Ezekiel and got a praise, when they praised, the Bible said the people helped themselves to kill themselves, and they came with the battlefield with gold, with so many spoiled, and the children of Israel picked it because when pray, praise confuses the enemy. I have my shares of ups and down. Time when there was no one around. God came and spoke his words to me. Praise will confuse the enemy. Psalm 47, verse 5 to 7. He said, God is going up with a shout. Once you praise God, you make God to be ready for you. And the Lord with the sound of a prophet. He says, sing praises to God. Sing it praise. He says, sing it praise unto the king. Sing it praise. What happened? For God is the king of all the earth. Men are in charge, but God is the one who gives them. And the best thing, you know, there are, we, we have kings, but people forget they are king's maker. We don't see crown on their head. We don't see staff on their hand. You don't see them with authority in their mouth. But they can make kings, they can dethrone or what? And throw kings. So don't fear king too much. Fear king's maker. In other words, don't fear people that you can see that you think they have power. Fear God who empowers men. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. He said, for God is the king of all the earth, sing his praises with understanding, not with confusion. Somebody shout hallelujah. So there is praise provoke divine intervention. Number two, praise gives access to the realm of miraculous. Supernatural signs are wonder. <laughs> Praise gives you access to the realm of the miraculous. If you want to see God beyond your expectation, praise Him beyond your expectation. Praise Him beyond your capacity. If you want to see God in displayful force. When Miriam took that tambourine and began to lead the, the people through praise, and the sea was parting, and the sea ran, because once, once praise is initiated, God is invited, and because nothing can stand God, nothing can stand you. Somebody shout hallelujah. So praise provoke divine intervention. Praise give access to what? To the realm of miraculous. Number three, praise provoke divine access. 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 What do I mean? You will never get this right until you read Psalm 100, um, verse 4, in uh, the message version. Psalm 100, verse 4, in the message version. It says, enter with the password, thank you, 
make yourself at home talking praise. Make yourself at home talking praise. When you come to the presence of God, don't talk your problem. Talk praise. Message version, Psalm 100 verse 4. Talk praise. Worship Him. Thank Him. Talk praise. Anytime you can present God to God, God will make sure that every of your trouble leaves you. Somebody shout hallelujah. I will say that again. Present God to God and your problem will not be able to face you. Present praise to God and your presence and your, your enemy, your problem will not be able to face you. I will say it again. Present praise to God and your presence will not be able to withstand you. Present, don't present your problem to God. Present praise to God. Psalm 100 verse 4. Talking praise. <laughs> I love that. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. So praise provoke divine access. It gives you, it give you access to the realm of the, of the miraculous. It provokes divine intervention. Somebody shout hallelujah. So when you get access, two things that you will need to do as, as we round up this night. Number one, is you can place demand. Once you have successfully invited God to praise, you can feel God when God is in the room. If I'm lying, ask Paul when you get to heaven. Somebody shout hallelujah. Look at it. When Esther get to the presence of God, to the presence of the king, in the presence, access, when Esther get to the presence of the king, the king was in a haste. Esther, how can I help you? Ask me anything and I will give to you. Esther chapter 5 verse 3. And Esther chapter 7 verse 1 to 3. So you can place the man on anything. And we all know how the whole thing went. In the book of Esther. All the enemy of Jude. Eh? They were killed. The one that led it, he was hung. Somebody shout hallelujah. So anyone that is all after you in this month, the judgment of a man that is what they will receive in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, so you can please demand when you have entered with praise. Number two, as we round up tonight, stand up on your feet, everybody. You can praise the man. Number two, you can make a divine request. A divine request, a request on the unimaginable request. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I was in, I just gave my life to Christ in 2000. And Eight. Then I stumbled in 2009. I stumbled on the church because Christ Church is a redeemed church led by Pastor Itua Igodalo. And Pastor Itua was giving an example one day. He said, We are too shallow in our mind. He said, God has so many big things for us, but because we don't know how big our God is, we think God is so small. He said, One day, somebody came to the church and was threatening to kill himself. He said, hey, I'm going to kill myself. I just want the pastor to come out now to hear what I'm about to say. He said, I need money or I will kill myself. The secretary ran to the pastor, Pastor Itua. He said, Pastor, this man was threatening that he's going to kill himself, that he needed me big money. Pastor, pastor Itua came out to meet the man and he said, what do you need, sir? He said, sir, I'm not sure you can help me. I just said, I should let you know I need big money. And until I get this money, I'm going to kill myself. Pastor Tua said, wait, don't kill yourself. Hey, secretary, today? He said, yes. How much do we have? He said, sir, we have 250,000 naira cash. He said, how much do we have in bank? He said, 750. 750 plus 250. He said, 1 million naira. He said, okay. Write me a check of 750,000 and uh, package that 250 and give to me. So, I gave Pastor Tua 250,000 and write a check of 750. He said, the worst come to worst. If this man said he needed a uh, 10 million. He said, We can give you 1 million. Wait, we are announcing church in a few days. Take this to start your problem. He said, If he asks for 500, we'll give him 250 now. Give him another check. He said, Whatever he has, we'll give you 1 million, no matter what. So, Pastor, he tried to return to him. Very powerful story. He returns to him. He says, uh, uh, Sir, you don't need to kill yourself. God can help you. And God has sent us to help you. He said, Sir, are you sure? He said, Yes, sir. 
He said, Pastor, I really need big money. He said, Tell us how much you need. He said, Pastor, I need 4,000 naira. Eh? How many 4,000? I need somebody to do the calculation for me. How many 4,000 do we have in 1 million naira? A shallow mind We always be cut short. Make a request. The daughter of Herodiah dance, praise, and receive. You know, the garment of praise. <laughs> it's not just a praise. She wore the garment of praise to praise the king of the earth. And the king asked, what can I do for you? Up to the half of my kingdom. If a man can be compelled to give the head of John the Baptist because of what? How many 4,000 we have there? 200 and he lost in 200 and maybe 204 and uh, one minus that. Yes, that's why this time he lost. Let me tell you something. Make your request big. That's what I'm trying to say. Don't just say you want to get married. Say you want to get married and what? I have children. And be financially free. Somebody shout hallelujah. The more you can create space for God, the more God will occupy and give you things that beyond need. Somebody shout hallelujah. Mark 6, 22 to 26. That lady danced and the king gave her what she wanted. I decree in the mighty name of Jesus. This day, you will receive what you want to praise in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your hand and worship the name of the Lord. Lord, I receive the garment of praise in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Laro Sataya Bagada Ballet. I receive the garment of praise in the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone watching right now, receive the garment of praise. May this must be the month of greatness. The month of change, your month of divine access to great things. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. One thing I want you to know is that music. It's a combination of noises. But those noises align with themselves. That's a become a melody. So if you want to praise God now, your noise, your praise will just become a noise without your alignment with Christ. So once you align with Christ, your noise becomes a melody. So please God. So if you are here today, say, oh, I'm ready to praise God today. I want to see how, how good the God God is. It's very possible. God has shown himself a lot to us. But guess what? Let me tell you something. You cannot praise God until you know Jesus. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. John 14, 6 is the one that makes your noise to become a melody that will praise you. He's the one who understands the beat that God needs. What am I saying today? Facebook, YouTube, or wherever you are around the world, you need Jesus to make your praise to be acceptable. So acceptance of praise is on the relationship or your, or your, your, your salvation platform. Acceptance of praise is on the platform of your salvation. So wherever you are around the world, you say you want to know Christ. It's so simple. Left hand up, right hand on your chest, and bow down your head, and say this after me, Lord Jesus, I'm all yours. I know that you died for me. On the third day, you rose up again, that I might be justified. Right now, my sins are forgiven. I'm a new creature in Christ Jesus. All things have passed away. All things have become new. Right now, I take privilege of the price that was paid on the cross of Calvary. It makes me a new man. It makes me a new person. And now as I praise God, I begin to, 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 to bask in the provision that God has made through Christ Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen. As you're giving your life to Christ today, devil will not take it back. The hand of God will be upon you. And as you open your mouth to praise God right now, it will not be a noise, it will be a melody.
pleasing God. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Please, this is time for communion. Jesus served his disciples' communion, not the entire body. He served the disciples alone. By this communion right now, your connection will be heaven will not be distorted. You will have access to heaven in the mighty name of Jesus. This is blessed if you are home. Whatever you take as a juice or as a biscuit is blessed. Turn to be the flesh and the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, 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 in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. As you have taken the communion tonight, may you be separated from every plan of the kingdom of darkness. As you take the communion tonight, may anything called depression leaves you in the mighty name of Jesus. May every may spirit of heaviness disappear from you. In the mighty name of Jesus, so shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. It's offering time. Lift up your offering above your head and make a declaration. This is my offering of praise. As I give this offering right now, I align with the tune of heaven. All my words, all the words that will be coming out of me will not be complained, will be praising God in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. This shall be used for the work of God. And as many that are giving right now online or live, may your hand never know dryness. As you let go this money today, it comes back to you with hundred foot. In Jesus' mighty name. This shall be used for the work of God. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Remember, wherever you are around the world, Romans chapter 8, verse 14 says, As many that are led, never be compared by any pastor to give. No. God, Jesus Christ paid the price for the church. That's why he said, I will build my church. The giving of men does not build church. is the presence of God. So only those who are led to give, these are the people that you should give. Because if you are not, if you are compelled to give, what happened? Your giving will lack the result. But that will not be your portion. So tonight, if you are compelled, or if, if you are led to give, sorry, uh, the email is up there, palacechapel at gmail.com. God will give you capacity in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Lift up your hand and receive the blessing. Esther never got rejected. The daughter of Herodia never got rejected. David and Miriam never got rejected. As you open your mouth tonight to praise or anytime, I decree that you find instant result in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You will get instant answer in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Every mountain of frustration, every mountain of separation, every mountain of lack of promotion, every mountain of lack of financial breakthrough, tonight as the word of God has gone forth, I will not return void and decree this mountain we bow to the place of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You will have capacity to make your mountain to become a valley, and you will tread up the, upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You, before tomorrow, as we come tomorrow for the continuation of this series, you will have your testimony. Amen. You will hear good news Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. And we say, surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. God bless you. I'm starting fresh. As the Lord reigns, we shall finish strong. Congratulations. Amen and amen. Give somebody a life as I'm in the mood to praise God.